just blinked. Do you see that? I did it again. I might tweet about this again. It's like it's like it's a habit to me. It's like I like like most other adults blink every like six seconds or so, uh, and I breathe. You know, sometimes I breathe out and I breathe in all day long, in and out. And sometimes I like absent-mindedly scratch my eyebrow or like uh, uh, from time to time I sniff. And do you know what? None of this is the stuff of great drama. The worst sentence ever written is she blinked. It's only worth saying that your character blinked if she's entered a staring competition. Equally bad is he exhaled. Don't tell me your character's breathing. Of course he's breathing. Tell me if your character stops breathing. That's news, right? Uh, these are extreme examples of a general problem that occurs when authors focus excessively on the minutiae of human movement. Uh, eyebrows raising or um, uh, shoulders slouching or um, uh, corners of mouths upturning or blinking or breathing or crossing legs or fidgeting. And often this results when the author wants to break up the dialogue but doesn't have anything meaningful to describe. Um, have a look at this paragraph, for instance. Jim looked across at her eyes, which were, he saw, looking left and right. She breathed out, blowing the fringe away from her eyes. Jim took a deep breath. There's something I want to tell you, he said. He felt his legs shaking and he placed his hands on his knees, trying to steady himself. Hermione turned her head slightly towards him. Her eyebrows were lifted like archways in curiosity. Go on, she said. Jim realised that Hermione was looking directly at him, awaiting an answer. He crossed his legs and leant his elbows onto the table. The thing is, he said, fiddling with his beer mat, I've got feelings for you. As soon as he said it, he leant back in his chair, throwing his head back. Hermione put her hand to her mouth and her eyebrows shot up still further. Now, that quickly gets boring because it's fixated on the minutiae of human movement. Uh, little fidgets, eyebrows going up, where he's leaning his elbows, etc. There's three reasons why that's boring. First of all, we should be able to imagine how your characters are looking and sitting and moving from what they're saying and doing. We would expect Hermione's eyebrows to rise in response to Jim's declaration. Second, most humans have the same bits and move them in more or less the same way. Uh, if, if your character has a unique gesture that helps to characterise them, then by all means report it. But most minor human movements are pretty boring. Finally, most small human movements aren't consciously registered. Uh, you're really conscious of your breathing or your fidgeting, and you're really conscious of someone else's breathing or fidgeting. Now, if something's not worthy of our attention in real life, it's unlikely to be worthy of our attention in fiction. Thanks for watching and good luck we are writing.